All right, in this video, I'm going to go over the Express install, something that's new with OES 11 SP1. I've been meaning to do that for a while, and actually show you a little bit of the difference between the Express install and the regular install, and a few changes that have happened between the the regular install on OS 11 and regular install on OS 11 SB1. So uh, if you're interested, I'm not really going to get too much into the prepare section. If you're interested on DSFW, dude, there's already a video that covers that and a TID as well that covers uh, what you want to look out for. So there's this prepare to install DSFW. Uh, go ahead and watch that. Uh, there's it talks about a TID as well that to look at uh, and it continuously getting updated with with some of the things uh, to, to look out for. One of them in particular is your NetBIOS name. So in this case our, our, D, our DSFW domain is going to be dsfw.lan. So our NetBIOS name by default is going to be DSFW. We can adjust that if we need be, if, if need be, but uh, you might want to check if this exists. So NMB lookup DSFW to be look if I could spell look up DSFW it's real simple it queries this network if you have multiple networks uh, you might want to do this on on other servers or on these other networks as well if you don't have a Linux box to do this from if you just want to do from a Windows uh, workstation do uh, NB stat as uh, equivalent to N NB lookup so that's the first point second point is extending the schema you might want to, so if you know, as you have OES, in this case I've, I've kind of broken it up a little bit with the install. Uh, you, you know, you have the option of doing it all together um, with, with the install. I'll go over that as well. But you have the schema tool. Uh, so you come in here, extend the schema, say next, and select DSFW. You can run that. And if you want to see if it says it was successful, go ahead and uh, if we do a tlf the var op novel e directory log OS schema log we can see if it if it added it if you get this that where the specified optional attributes for the schema class already exists you might want to check out a few things here you might have had the uh, nds for nt schema uh, installed uh, on your in your tree and if that's the case it is NT AD use a lot of this the same attributes. With the exception is things have been updated in AD and they need to be updated with the DSFW as well. Well the extending the re-extending the schema, it well if it detects that it's there, it's not gonna uh, update it. There's a few updates that, that uh happen for specifically for uh, OES uh DSFW compared to NDS for NT. So it's you can look example the account expires is the easy one to look at account expires there's a, a syntax and a flag of integer 64 so if that does not exist and uh, then you might well you're gonna need to call Novell support and it's gonna take a while to go through and clean up your tree editing schema if it's a small tree uh, say your consultant setting up a new uh, small tree uh, or, or you've got a, a customer that only has like you know five, ten users, or you know less than a hundred users type thing. You might want to look at building a new tree because it's going to take a while to go through and clean up all of the schema uh, to kind of determine where it's at and what to clean up. So this integer 64 is something to to look out for. So th that those are the two big things. Uh, third thing I would also t uh, suggest is. You know, you have the option with OS 11 SP1 to do uh, the install all together, the SLES and the, the OES. I like to break them up myself, and I like to just have a base bone SLES box to that I have, uh, since I'm doing VMs, just have a, a, a base box from there and make clones off of that. And I can do OES as well. If you w choose to do it at the same time, and I, I use the, that disk to uh, install this uh, so that it already has the OES pieces in here. I just did not configure anything. Uh, you could do that as well. Um, but one big key I would hold off on, it, just in general for any uh, OES product, is I would not run the update, at least for the uh, o Open Enterprise Server uh, 
pieces until you've got what you needed installed. Specifically with DSFW, we have seen a few bugs with the November maintenance patch, and this is December at this time. So in November maintenance patch, there were a few uh, few things that you might run into. We've got some tids on that if if you run into some install errors and you've you've uh, patched. So let me get this set <coughs> again. So I did not uh, uh, patch the 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 server yet. I'll, I'll just do it. You can do it after the YAST piece if you're interested. But I would recommend not patching. Um, so we're back to our install. We just click on the OES products, and here we go. Just again, like before, just click on Novo uh, Domain Services for Windows. You're going to replace the Samba packages because that's default. I, I usually do not install. Make sure Samba is not installed, but um, in this case, most people do. So I did that here, so you can see what error you might get. Continue through that. And we're you can see what is installed. Uh, just keep the the bat defaults. Uh, I would not install anything else or remove. Definitely do not remove anything. Uh, if you want to install something like iManager, I prefer to do it afterwards after I've got everything else installed because iManager takes a little while to install. So we'll start the install right now. Click accept, and we'll get back when this uh, the RPM after the RPMs are installed. Okay, I'm going to run through first what a typical install looks like. A few differences. It starts off instead of e-directory, starts we'll click next again. It starts off with your domain. So you can see your domain name again if you've read the the tits on preparing to install DSFW or watch the videos, you know your your uh, Etsy host and Etsy host name need to be set up, need to be correct. Something also of note and the Etsy host name, make sure it's all lowercase and that it's at Etsy host name all the actual file is host is all capital host name uh, anyway the other video talks about that um, so uh, uh, talks about the host name but you just want to make sure that it should be by uh, default all lowercase don't go and change it use yes to set that information as well so uh, that we cannot change that should have been done before but our net bios can so if we'd like to change it this is the time to do it uh, there is an ability to change it later on, but I prefer just to get it right the first time. So we click next, uh, then we get into our tree information. Here we go. So w are we doing a new tree or an existing tree? This one is an existing one. Again, I prefer not to install Secret Secret Store. If you're not using it, don't install it. That's just my recommendation. And required TLS, you can uncheck that. Uh, you might have requirements that you required uh, secure binds so you might need to ch that check it's it, that again something that's up to you next just your server a server with a replica of root and uh, a replica of the O partition or wherever you're mapping it to this is preferred uh, so if you've already extended schema then the replica of root is as is, is important uh, that but if you have an extended schema then definitely make sure it has a replica of root it's just a good practice replica of root and a replica of the partition where the domain is going to be mapped to. Go from there. Our administrator, as you can see, this is right. It is a CN equals user is a container. That's the way AD does it. That's the way DSFW does it. Uh, even though this object does not exist, it will, uh, in a sense, virtually exist. Uh, really just think of that as the O equals Novell. So we've got our administrator account. Cannot change that. Set in our password move on we've got where we're mapping it to Again, we're mapping it to the O equals Novell which is partitioned make sure you do that follow the steps beforehand uh, if you have the Novell KDC you can migrate that as well or the retained password policies so if you have a password policy you know check it not check it so all of this is pretty much the same in the ex uh, in the Express as well uh, and also in the OS 11 just a slightly different uh, format or not for uh, uh, location. One is you know starts off with the domain name first. So in this case, uh, we're mapping. Yes, uh, it would give us another uh, a warning if we are retaining the password policy. Set up your time server if you have an internal one. Do that. If you don't, you're not sure about one. The pools.ntp.org is a good uh, s s suggestion. Just, there's a pool of NTP servers to hit. Uh, 
Uh, your div location, don't change any of that. You cannot change your server location. That's something that cannot be changed. But again, just leave this uh, as a default. Moving on, SLP, if you want to go in and configure that, if you have that set up. And just let us know about that uh, if we want to do all the the uh, method. So these last two screens are, are things that are not in the Express. You'll, you'll skip over. So if you really want SLP set up, you don't want to do the Express. Uh, if you want to set it up later, then you know go ahead and, and uh, do the Express. Uh, the uh, and it's going to install the NMAS logins you need anyway. Not a big thing to worry about. You can select all if you're doing it the r this way, or the Express install just ignores it. Next, your proxy user. Again, you will not be able to change this uh, in the Express install. It just creates it for you, and it does not do DNS configuration as well. So if you've got DNS configuration, uh, this case I'm you know I'm using I have an existing uh, locator object. So if you already have Novell DNS in your tree and you have a locator object, do not do the Express install. Definitely do the the longer way. Uh, so that's it, and then it goes takes you to the overall screen. We are going to just do the express install. Uh, even though I do have a locator object, just to show possibilities of uh, some problems you'll run into uh, later on if you do the express install and you have a locator object and you wish you didn't do that. So let's go back to the be very beginning. Express install. Let's see, this let us know specifically DNS. If we have DNS configured, don't do the express install. Uh, I should say Novell DNS with a locator object. So let's say next. You see, looks familiar. That BIOS name, uh, tree name, same thing. Server we're installed. All this is exactly the same as what we started off with. Uh, same our administrator or mapping to. In this case, let's retain the password policy. Uh, we have that option. We can do it here. Um, so that is nice. You have that ability to express install next. So it's just giving us this warning where we're mapping it to the O equals Novell, and it's going to give us another warning to make sure that our our password policy is set up properly that we do have it. Again, we have the NTP, and after that, we're pretty much done. That is it. Uh, if you know anything about the OES version uh, for DSF or the DSFW version of OES, you cannot go back and make any changes in YAST to DNS, so you can't come back here and reconfigure DNS. If you do, you'll get this error. Uh, DSFW is installed here, so it will not let you change anything, and that's just to protect the DSFW, uh, the install, assuming you got it right the first time, because uh, we don't want people to go back and really mess up their their configuration. So this, uh, if this all looks good for to you, then you just kind of go from there. Uh, you can, you know, click on the e-directory and kind of redo that if you really want to, you know, make some changes there. So other than that, I would just, you know, you're set, just ready to go, and it follows the same thing as I've done before. Uh, different logs you might want to tail. Uh, the the Y2 log. The um, and then the NDSDC init log when you get to that part. So anyway, just wanted to get you uh, an idea of what the Express install looks like, and I won't actually go through and do it at this time, but uh, uh, or you know follow through the the YAS portion of that. But anyway, it's pretty much the same. So hope that helped you out uh, and got you started. The difference between the Express and the the regular install and just kind of get you up to date on on what to do here. All right. Thanks for watching.